Hello and good day everyone. My name is Mohan Lo and I'm the head of digital creative content at MDEC. MDEC is a government agency tasked to develop the digital economy of Malaysia. I'm here today to give an overview of the Malaysian games industry. So let's take a look at the markets. Despite a global pandemic, the demand for digital content such as animation and games continues to rise. Malaysia and Southeast Asia are among the fastest growing markets in the world. The Southeast Asian market is expected to hit 9.1 billion by 2023 and an impressive growth rate of over 20%. Looking deeper into Malaysia, Malaysia is the third largest market in the Southeast Asian region. With a population of 32.4 million, more than 20 million of them are gamers. So that's almost two thirds of its population. And these gamers generate over 800 million in revenues. So where do these gamers play? As expected, most of these gamers are mobile gamers, followed by PC and consoles. As a multicultural country, Malaysian gamers prefer to play games from both Eastern and Western influences. Now, if you take a look at the industry, Malaysia is also home to a significant digital content industry. This comprises of companies under the animation, VFX, games interactive media, and new media platforms. This industry is important to Malaysia as it generates over 1.7 billion US dollars in terms of revenue and generates over 10,000 jobs. Now, if you look even deeper into the games industry specifically, MDAC tracks about 50 active game studios. Now, the industry is obviously much bigger than 50 companies, but these companies alone generate over 100 million in terms of IP and services revenue. And Malaysia is also home to a large number of schools that support game design and its related courses. There are over 50 schools right, that are in the, involved with game development. Now, if we look into our studios that are available, historically, most studios in Malaysia started out as outsourcing houses, but they have a proud heritage of supporting AAA game development titles, making Malaysia a global destination for high quality game production and services. As these companies mature, they are transforming themselves to become original IP creators and for core development. Recently launching titles such as Giga Bash, Zombie Soup, that went on to be hits in Tokyo Game Show and win multiple awards in the region. Not to be left out, there has been a rise of indie studios. In the last couple of years, we've seen strong titles and strong studios come out of Malaysia. Companies such as Kurechi and Explore has led the way from the beginning. And now, a more mature group of companies following suit such as Magnus Games, Metronomic, Kaigan, and more recently, 7D Games have seen incredible success through their games. Through titles such as No Straight Roads, Re Legend, Similar Cry, and of course the recent smash hit, Rhythm Doctor. Beyond Malaysian Studios, We've seen an increase in the number of international studios setting up in Malaysia as well. Codemasters was one of the earliest studios to set up over 10 years ago. But in more recent years, we've seen Bandai Namco, Double Eleven, Larian Studios, and Sony Interactive. These companies have great confidence in the infrastructure, strong government support, and access to skilled talent in Malaysia. We also hope that these companies will attract attention not just to Malaysia, but also to the greater Southeast Asian games industry. So finally, let's take a look at the support that the Malaysian government provides. So back in 2019, MDAC and the industry sat together to determine the future of the digital content ecosystem. And the result of this was DICE, the Digital Content Ecosystem Strategic Framework. The vision for DICE was to create a conducive, inclusive, and competitive digital content ecosystem, which the games industry is part of. And this is going to be built upon four pillars, the pillars of talent development, industry support, IP commercialization, and positioning Malaysia as a regional hub. DICE serves as a guideline for national policy, as well as a roadmap right, for the digital content ecosystem. So let's take a look at some of the initiatives uh, that came out of DICE. For one, MDEC provides grant and funding support for the development and the nurturing of new IPs. Next, we provide incubation and growth programs to ensure that companies and teams are sustainable as well as scalable for to meet the competitive market demands. And once these companies are mature enough, 
we provide them with networking opportunities through programs such as Level Up. And market access to places such as GDC, TGS, China Joy, and Gamescom. To further support the industry, we look out into the grassroots and the community as well, building awareness through the school programs such as Level Up at Schools, community events, streaming support, as well as esports. So these are not all the initiatives. There are a lot more initiatives and a lot more partnerships that we do. And I hope to be able to you know, have a chat with you guys further on how we can collaborate. So if you're just interested to talk about or understand more about the Malaysian uh, games industry or the games industry in general, do hit me up at mohan.lao at mdeck.com.my. I hope you've enjoyed this talk and you've walked away with some valuable information. Thank you.